fed up is when you've had too much of something and now you don't want to do it anymore. Like, for example, you eat pizza six days a week. And then on Sunday, your friend says, let's have pizza again. And you go, oh my God, I'm fed up with pizza. I'm sick of pizza. Or when I don't know, you exercise all day, every day, and then one day, you just don't want to do it anymore. I'm fed up with exercising. I'm tired of exercising. I'm sick of exercising, like that. I'm fed up with, I'm sick of, I'm tired of, or you can merge these two. I'm sick and tired of. Yes, I'm sick and tired of your bullshit, for example. Or, I'm fed up with making these videos. Oh, for, 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 for example. <laughs> mm. well, like, your true color just came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are uh, some expressions you can say when you're like so sick of it, mm. when you, uh, your boss is coming up to you, mm. and then uh, dumping a lot of work on your desk. I'm sick of this bullshit. And you throw your books off the desk and you walk out. Or, that's enough. That's enough? Uh, right? Too old, too old, too old. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, enough is enough! Too old, too old, too old. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I had it up to here! Yeah, yeah, okay, that's better. That's better. Or another one is, yeah, I've had it up to here with this. It's about another person. It's, you don't, you wouldn't say that about yourself, you say it about another person. Like, your boss is driving you crazy, every day he's pushing you and pushing you, and then you say, I've had it up to here with you, boss. I quit. I can't take it anymore, I can't stand it anymore. I'm fed up with this, I'm sick of this, I'm quitting. I'm gonna go kill myself because of you. Oh, that kind of thing. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Alright, any final word? Any final word? Even if you get sick and tired of studying English, you have to keep doing it because it's how we make money. <laughs> English! So, 오늘 표현, fed up with라는 표현입니다. Fed up. Fed라는 것은 사실 feed의 pp형이죠, 그쵸? 자, 그럼 한번 생각해 보세요. 누가 여러분들한테 feed, 뭘 주고 있다고 생각해 보세요. 그럼 나는 fed가 되는 거죠. 그럼 올라옵니다. 그러다가 어때요? 참지 못하겠죠. I'm so fed up with it. 그쵸? 이렇게 하면 좀잘 외워줄 수 있습니다. 그래서 fed up with라는 것은 정말 지겹다, 이제 고만, 이제 싫어, 어 정말 못 참겠어. 이 정도의 느낌으로 보시면 되겠고요. 비슷한 표현 한번 정리를 좀 해보도록 하겠습니다. 어떤 게 있을까요? 여러분들, I'm so sick of it. sick이라는 표현 들어봤죠? sick. 그 다음에 tired라는 표현도 사용할 수 있습니다. I'm tired of it. 그쵸? 그 다음에 sick과 tired를 합쳐서 I'm so sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. 그래서 sick and tired 같이 사용할 수 있다라는 것이죠. 그쵸? 자, 그 다음에 어떠한 그 상황에서 내가 정말 아, 이거, 아, 이거 정말 아니잖아! 화내면서 말을 할때 I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. 아니면 I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand it here. 그 다음에 I had it up to here, boss. I've had it up to here. 이렇게 말할 수 있겠죠. 보스가 나보고 계속 이제 뭐라고 하니까 I had it up to here, boss. He's fed up with you. Fed up. 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 I'll never forget this. It was the summer between freshman and sophomore year of college, and I finally was fed up with my lack of confidence. I'll never forget this. It was the summer between freshman and sophomore year of college and I finally was fed up with my lack of confidence. I'll never forget this. It was the summer between freshman and sophomore year of college and I finally was fed up with my lack of confidence. I'll never forget this. It was the summer between freshman and sophomore year of college and I finally was fed up with my lack of confidence. I'll never forget this. It was the summer between freshman and sophomore year of college and I finally was fed up with my lack of confidence. 자, fed up with라는 표현 잊지 말고 기억해 주시고요. 여러분들 영어 공부할 때 가끔 가다 보면 fed up 할수 있는데요. 그러지 마세요. 자, fed up 됐을 때는요. 자, 좀 쉬었다가 다시 와서 좀 재밌는 것으로 공부해 보세요. 그렇죠? 저희 채널 같은 경우도 재밌는 영상을 많이 제공할 거니까 많이 와서 영상 많이 시청해 주시기 바랍니다. 자, 그러면 우리 다음 시간에 뵙도록 하겠습니다. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.